And it, oh, oh. Welcome back to Bella Boo's Lunches. If you're new, welcome. I have gone to Aldi, and this is what we ended up getting. So I'm gonna quickly, I'm just gonna unbag it. I was just gonna take it out of here as I talked about it, but maybe, should I? No, just do it like Just this. do it like this? Okay, so let me just show you what we picked up at Aldi. We got a bag potato of chips. potato chips. Broccoli. Uh, Naan. Naan. And this is for our hummus. I thought it was like Nana. <laughs> Nana. Some moo tubes. Some milk. Some milk. Some yogurt. Some more yogurt. Blueberry. I picked the flavors. Raspberry. Cherry. Cherry. Whipped cream. Oh, heavy whipping cream. Some heavy whipping cream. Two of those. I like to keep them in my fridge. When do they expire? They don't expire till March 17th. Wait, I'll expire till March 17th? Yeah. That's we have to day. finish that before we go on our trip. Some gummy bears. This is Bella's Valentine's. To my friends, of course. All you guys. Uh, some more yogurt. yogurt. Strawberry banana. This is a salad. We've never tried this one. So if you've tried this one, let me know if you liked it or what your favorite salad mixes are from Aldi. But this one caught my eye because it has an amama in it. And uh, write in the comments what you would put in your own uh, salad. Yeah, but doesn't this sound good? Edamame, sunflower seeds, quinoa mix, and sweet onion vinaigrette. So, vinaigrette. yeah, it looks good. Green cabbage, kale, red cabbage, green leaf, lettuce, and carrots. I don't know, that sounds good. We're gonna have this with our dinner. Sounds good to me. You just cool, right? Some baking soda. For cookies, of course. Some tomatoes that just fell. And some ice cream. We've never had their ice cream from Aldi. So we're going to try the Make Fudge Nut War. And we got another one. Because these are kind of <laughs> dinky little containers. Oh, what is that? It's so cute. And this one is bricky dough, brownie, and cookie. Okay. I'm going to have that one all to myself in the middle of the night. Some onion dip, dip. to go with the chips. Wait, guess what this is? It is a mango. It's a mango. My favorite fruit of them all. Some yogurt, peach. Peach yogurt. And that goes with the beach. Peach. What? Because we, it goes with the beach. Peach, beach. Oh, because it rhymes? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you were giving me another joke. <laughs> it is, kind of. And then we have some sour cream. And then some... Lucky Charms and such. So we a lot of times won't buy like a big box of cereal because it might go bad. <laughs> I found that Bella doesn't really know what cereal she even likes because we don't. don't do a lot of cereal. So I'm trying to buy these little packs that have multiple selection or flavors or I, types in them. I do know I like one. Yeah. And my, it's this one. Lucky Charms. I love that one. But I don't know any of those. But I bought a box of Lucky Charms before, and she's eaten all the marshmallows, and all you're left is like two-thirds of a box of the cereal. And these are cherry, which are not my favorite, but Bella likes them. Yep. All right, thank you so much for watching. Maybe I'll add another video to this one of another haul or something. Here is my additional haul. Uh, we went to Hy-Vee. I can't remember what store. I think Aldi we had stopped at earlier. But this is my Hy-Vee add-on haul for you. Uh, we got a lot of things for like Valentine's Day lunches. So look forward to those. They've either already been posted or they're going to be posted soon. But we got some grapes, red grapes. We like red grapes anyways, but those are perfect for Valentine's Day. And then I also picked up this Thai chili dip. It tastes kind of like a crab rangoon and you pair it with these wonton chips and it's like you have a little wonton crab rangoon appetizer. I don't know. I thought that might be kind of fun in her lunch then also kind of fun for like a little appetizer. I don't know. I bought a lot of weird stuff today. I think it's like almost my time of the month because I went crazy with this haul. So who knows? Try to figure it out. I can't. I also picked up this cheese dip. Bella has been wanting it for a couple grocery trips now. So I did go ahead and get it today. This is just cheese and I think it has mayo in it actually. 
some green olives. I don't know. There's like a bunch of delicious stuff in here. And then I got some salami. If you've been here with me for a while, you know how I pair these two together. If you haven't, look forward to either the lunch video I've either already posted or that I'm going to be posted either before or after this haul because I'm using this in her Valentine's Day lunches. Okay? How confusing was that for you? Anyway, uh, we picked up some ham. This I did have, I saw it on Ibotta. So I will be getting 75 cents uh, through Ibotta for using this. And the way Ibotta works, it's kind of like a coupon app. But once you have earned, I think it's $20 is the minimum, they will, you can choose a gift card to get your money put towards. So it's not like a paper coupon, which you can also use on top of Ibotta. You can use paper coupons, store coupons, um, store, like for high V, I I get money off of my gas. And so I can get all that and still do Ibotta. It's just like an, an additional way to like save money or, you know, like help you budget with your groceries. Because now I can go and get a gift card. I think I usually redeem them in for like Target or Amazon, I want to say. And then that kind of offsets that side of spending. You know what I mean? So anyway, 75 cents, every little penny I think counts. You also typically will get like 10 cents just for uploading your receipt. And you know, if you go shopping a couple times a week, you that will add up. So anyway, I'll leave my Ibotta link down below. And if you sign up, I think you might get something just for like uploading your first receipt. I'm not sure though. Go just check it out. You'll save some money. It's worth it, I think. Uh, these are whips. So they're like long string cheeses. I got some eggs. Let's see if they all made it. A lot of times they will get broke on the way home. Nope. I think I was in charge of the eggs this trip. So they all made it. Did I already show these? These are just little decorations for Bella's lunch. I thought they were cute little hearts. Picked up some chips because they were red. I don't know why it's like red and black, like love and not love or what. We picked up this big honking thing of cheese. This was like the same price as the smaller one. So of course I got the bigger one, but holy schmoly, that's a big thing of cheese, right? Bread and butter chips. These pickles are like my favorite. Do you guys ever just take a shot of pickle juice? Anyway, I also got normal pickles because Bella's not a fan of these ones, but I might have her try them again. Because maybe she is a fan and she just used to not be a fan. Uh, some Jello, strawberry banana. Okay. She always picks the flavor of Jello when we get it because I do not like Jello. But I will drink Jello. Just a side note I will drink Jello, like make it, and then not let it set while it's still warm. If I have a sore throat or I'm not feeling good, I will actually make Jello just to drink it. And it like soothes your throat. So you could try that. My mom used to do that when we were little. That's like one of her remedies that she would give us. So anyway, there's a little hack for you. Some peanut butter. It was on sale. Some mayonnaise. This was on the Ibotta. The Hellman's, like the norm, like the real kind of mayonnaise was on there. But it's just so expensive that I couldn't do it. You know what? I might even have mayonnaise in my cupboard already now that I'm thinking about it. Ugh. Anyway. Some sriracha, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but my other one was expired, so I had to throw it away, and it wasn't all gone. I bought another one to replace the expired one. Some chocolate, because it's Valentine's Day, and what girl doesn't love chocolate-covered strawberries? Now, our strawberries look really white, but it's as good as we could get, so I thought I could cut off the white parts. You guys, we don't get the best produce in South Dakota, so in the winter time so you just kind of have to get what you get and not throw a fit maybe if it has chocolate on it it'll be fine I don't know I also picked up some tortillas we like the little guys so that's what I picked up were the little guys some goldfish because they're pink seriously that's the only reason why I bought them some fruit roll-ups because I'm hoping that the packaging is pink that's the only reason I bought these two so let's just open them up and see no not really much pink at all. Really silvery. I bought jicama already cut up. If you guys have never tried jicama, I think it's kind of like a cross between a potato and a carrot. They're really, really good and you really don't need a dip for them. And they're hard to peel. Like kind of a pain in the butt to peel because they have such of a hard 
outer shell that they're just kind of a pain. And so I saw they had already peeled them and cut them up and probably charged me four times as much and I didn't care. Here they are. And I will take your shortcut on that. Absolutely. Then I also picked up some flour back here because we're out of flour and then some apples. So these apples down here, these little guys, these are Bella's. These are Bella's favorite kind of apple. They are called Red Delicious. They are the absolute cheapest apple that you will ever find. And that's what Bella gets. These apples cost five bajillion dollars and they are my favorite apple now. <laughs> they are called Cosmic Crisp. They are the best apple and they, yeah, they're like five hundred thousand bajillion dollars each and Bella is not allowed to eat them and they are so good like they're almost so sweet they give you a tummy ache but buy them you'll like them get them for yourself don't share them with your kids uh get your kids the red delicious ones I think these are like five cents I don't know anyway that is my grocery haul thank you so much for watching and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Please comment down below and tell me if you bought any of my similar types of foods this week in your groceries or what is actually, I want to know, what's one thing you always seem to buy? Like I feel like I always seem to buy apples or applesauce or something apple-y. What do you buy? Anyway, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in our next video. Bye! Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit that bell and comment. Bye!